Hello, everyone. This is Johnny. Um, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use qualities to find out your vulnerability and learn how to remedy the vulnerability on your findings. So this is our Qualys Enterprise platform. Um, when you log into the asset view, you will see the dashboard. Whatever you found here, they will show you the situations of your environment. So what usually I do is just search the asset it work on. For example, it's that this one is 172.23.1.31, which is integrated at Dell Remote Access Control. So you can click the asset name and come back to the vulnerabilities. In here, you will see this IP, specific IP, is 175, which is urgent vulnerability. And then they have 173, which is high vulnerability. So not too bad that we do need to resolve this urgent vulnerability as soon as possible. Click at the stability file icon, you will see this shows you the vulnerability QID 105459. And then the stability is five, it's urgent. Then we will view the details for this vulnerability and you will get much more details information here. So that means this vulnerability relating to SNMP protocol version detected at the end of life or obsolete software. Uh, I guess this is must be SNMP2. So in this way, since we are not using SNMP2 on the IJAC, we can quickly disable it. The solution is easy, simple. Go back to the login window of the IJAC, 172.23.1.31. Login to the root account. And the password. What we're going to do is log into this IJAC web we and disable the as the end of life or obsolete SMP protocol from this web we IJAC. Now we are in a web we here. So where we can find our information? We can take a look at those settings, um, hardware, CPU memories, storage, host OS. You will not see SMP here. It must be in one of those options. My guess will be in the networks. Network settings, SSL, zero, zero, and services. SNSP is one of the services. They have web service enabled. That's how we can get into the web We have SSH not enabled. Telnet not enabled. That's good. Remote back ADM. That's fine. We are not looking at We are looking at SNP agent here. It's enabled. What we can do and enable is a public SNP community name. So that SNP protocol also is it's for all SMP version one, version two, version three. Since it's for all, so then once you're using version one, version two, it will show you that's a old obsolete SMP protocol. That is, you need to change SMP. In this case, we we'll just disable SMP, apply. Double check, SMP has been disabled. Okay, the fix has been done. What you can do in the next step is go back to here and just rescan, schedule another scan to scan your machine to verify this one of you has been remedied. Simple and easy using how to use qualities to find out the vulnerability and learn how to fix it. That's all for my today's video. Thank you for watching.